In this video we're going to have a look at blurring the edges of images and I'll use three different methods to achieve this um, and either one will perhaps suit different designs that you may have. Now the first one, method one, is using the fill tool. We'll start by creating a new blank document, A4 landscape transparent background. Now that's the one I'm using, this is the sample one. Yours may be slightly different, but that's alright. You can work right along with this one if you like. Place the sample image, which is supplied. Um, it's on my website in the download area, and you'll see that in the description. Select the fill tool. Context toolbar appears. Now from the context toolbar, select type elliptical from the drop down list. Tap the dot on the outer edge of the elliptic line, that's the horizontal one, and select color white. Now reduce the opacity of that to zero, and you'll see the following slides each show those steps. Create a blank document, A4 landscape, transparent background. Next step, place the sample image as supplied. And I've got that centered on that on that uh, canvas. Now select the fill tool. That's the one that looks like a mm, slightly off-center rectangle with a line through it. The context toolbar appears down the bottom. Now select the type elliptical from the drop-down list. In this case I'm going to use the elliptical one and you'll see as soon as you do that those that right angle line um, pops up on your workspace. Now tap the dot on the outer edge of that elliptic line and select the color white if it's not already. Reduce the opacity of the color to 0%. I've got it at 5 there but a moment later it's at 0. And you can see that the already we've got a really decent vignette. If you don't drag it all the way to zero, say you leave it at 5%, it will show a slight smudge of that image on top of anything that's behind it. So you can adjust that. Now there's the finished item ready for copying or saving. And you can see I've just got one layer there, it's the photo, and it's been masked with the vignette or the transparency, the, the fill tool. Fairly straightforward. I would recommend making a duplicate of that in case you inadvertently save that to your images and destroy your original image. Now, method two, using the transparency tool. You might think it's the same, but it is slightly different. Again, the steps create a new blank document, place the sample image as supplied, select the transparency tool this time, not the fill tool, and the context bar again appears. Again, select type elliptical from the drop down list. Tap the dot on the outer edge of the elliptic line and select color white. Reduce the opacity of the color to 0%. And again, here are the steps. Create a new document. Place the image. Too simple. Select the transparency tool, and that looks like the wine glass. Ah, red wine or white wine? I don't know, I like both. The context toolbar appears down the bottom. Select the type elliptical from the drop down list, or the drop up list perhaps in this case. But you want the type elliptical, and again you have the right angle lines appear there, and the inner edge will be black, the outer edge white, and that's what you want. Select the outer edge white, reduce the opacity to 0%. And there you have it. Finished. Ready for copying or saving. Couldn't be simpler. Now method 3 is slightly different. This is using a masking layer. Now on the iPad this is not the same as the desktop. You would think it is, but it's not. It's slightly different. Again, create a new blank document, place the sample image. Now draw a rectangle, or whatever shape you need, over the image. It'll blank it out completely. Apply a Gaussian blur to the shape. Adjust this to suit your needs, and you'll see that the one I've got is slightly darker in the, in the outer edges 
it's kind of a reverse vignette. With that shape selected, tap Rasterize, Rasterize to Mask from the Commands drop down. And the result is, let's have a look at the slides. Create a new blank document, ta da, the same. Place a sample image, ta da, exactly the same. Now draw a rectangle or whatever shape you need over the image. In this case, it's just a rectangle, white rectangle that blanks out the image. Now apply a Gaussian blur. Now the trick with this is, remember you turn on the Gaussian blur, but you also have to click on the words Gaussian blur. It's not just enough to switch it on. So tap on the Gaussian blur and you can see it's blurring in the center and darker on the outer edges. That's fine. That's just how you want it. Don't try and alter that. Well, I mean, you can, um, but to suit your needs. When with the shape adjusted, tap Rasterize to Mask from the Commands menu. That's the one at the top. And you can see it's got Rasterize to Mask at the bottom. And when you do that, that's what you end up with. The result is another type of vignette, only this one with a mask layer. And that's it. Three, three ways of really quickly applying smoothing or blurring to the outer edges of an image, or in other words, applying a vignette to an image. Three simple methods. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it.